Well, let's get straight to our top story tonight. The Supreme Court today that said that the sanction for prosecution of public servants in corruption cases should be done within a time frame of four months, after which it will deem to have been given. While accepting Subramaniam Swami's plea that there was a delay by the Prime Minister's office in sanctioning the prosecution of former Telecom Minister A. Raja in the 2G case, the court said Parliament should now consider amending the law. The court, meanwhile, has indicted the Prime Minister's office and the law ministry for the delay in A. Raja's case, but the PM himself, the judges felt, cannot be held responsible. The BJP has gone on the offensive, but the Prime Minister's office says they are vindicated. Why did it take 16 months for the Prime Minister to sanction the prosecution of Telecom Minister A. Raja? Today, the Supreme Court asked the Parliament to consider setting a four-month deadline, by the end of which, if no decision is taken, the sanction should be deemed to be given. While the onus is on Parliament now, to ensure there is no delay in prosecuting public officials charged with corruption. The judges did put moral pressure on the government. They said such delay is adversely viewed in public mind. The sanctioning authority and the corrupt officials were or are partners in the same misdeeds. However, the court put the blame of the delay on the Prime Minister's office or the PMO and the Law Ministry, saying those expected to give proper advice to the Prime Minister failed to do so. With Justice Ganguly quoting Shakespeare to describe the Prime Minister's position, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Today's decision could have a far-reaching effect for the CBI. The agency waited years to prosecute UP Chief Minister Mayavati and then that permission to sanction was denied by a controversial decision by the then UP Governor, TV Rajeshwar. In the same case, the CBI waited months to also prosecute the Environment Secretary and even that was kept hanging for a long time. There was a major political reaction in the case. The BJP tried to put the Congress on the back foot, but the government says that the court has endorsed their action on the Lokpal bill. Today's verdict of Supreme Court is a very serious indictment of the functioning of the UPA government, more particularly the working of the Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, will you permit a fair investigation into the role of Chichi or you will continue to insist that he has your full confidence? A bad case has made a good law. No sanction is required against a public servant when a petition is filed before the Lokpal. Therefore, the, the, the issue has been addressed very clearly by the government. And it was the, the Lokpal bill has been passed in uh, the Lok Sabha and in the Rai Sabha it is pending. Besides the moral pressure on the government, the crux of today's judgment is any common man can question the Prime Minister why there is a delay in granting sanction. In New Delhi with Sunetra Chaudhary, this is Arunachalam Vaidyanathan for NDTV. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.